Joining me from the United States, it's best-selling Palestinian author, activist, poet, Susan Abul Hawa joins us, known to speak her mind out. Appreciate your jo joining us, Susan. Your first reactions to what has happened during the last week, the dastardly Hamas attack on Israeli civilians, and now the humanitarian crisis in Gaza, which people in the area are facing at the moment. How do you see it as a writer and an activist who has often spoken out about Palestinian human rights? Well, it's interesting how you frame the question. You, you start with a dastardly attack by Hamas and then a humanitarian crisis, as if the humanitarian crisis is an act of God. In fact, there have been dastardly attacks by Israel long before Hamas resisted. Um, I don't accept that. Uh, I don't accept the framing that you were uh, uh, putting forth. Um, as a formerly colonized people, you should know better. You should know better what colonial violence looks like. And it's, it's, really, it's really just so sad to see the way India has, uh, has changed from the times of Meru to now um, to, to supporting a fascist, settler, colonial, genocidal state um, after what you endured under the British for so long. Palestinians are an indigenous population who have been living under the yoke of profound racism, mm -hmm. extreme violence for decades. Anything Palestinians do is resistance to that. Israel began with by saying, uh, uh, talking about dead babies and rape, and all of that turned out to be lies. It's, it is verified now that those are lies. But journalists, around the world, and it sounds like including Susan. you, just accept this Israeli narrative as if it's fact. No, no, and Susan. It's still being, it's still sticking. No, no, Susan, let me, let me pause you for a moment. The fact is, I certainly on this show have not put out a Western media narrative about babies, heads, uh, babies being beheaded. We've gone by the facts on the ground. The fact is, Susan, like it or not, what happened on 7th October was... I use the word dastardly. More than a thousand people are killed in a terror attack. Many of them innocent civilians, non-combatants. How can I not use that word dastardly? Why, why, why don't you use that? Why don't you use that dastardly uh, uh, adjective to describe the, the decades of what of Israeli attacks? Why don't you, why don't, that you are using a Western narrative. Absolutely you are. No, I'm not. Like it's okay when Israel uh, attacks Every single day, every single day, Israeli soldiers break into Palestinian homes, drag their children from their beds and terrorize them. Every day, Israeli settlers backed by the Israeli military shoot and burn and harass and kill and attack Palestinians. Every day, Israeli military, every, no, no, so let me finish. You brought me on here to speak. No, I, let me speak. I'll every speak. single day, Israel is destroying Palestinians. Ma'am, Susan, the fact is, you know, the fact is Palestinian victimhood. No, no, I want you to, I want to hear you say that what Israel has been doing for 75 years is dastardly. Can you say that? Of course I, I can say it. No, no just say, tell me, tell me if you think it's dastardly what Israel has been doing to us for 75 years. Tell me if you think it's dastardly that Israel has imprisoned 2.3 million human beings, 80% of them are refugees from those surrounding towns around Gaza, by the way. that Tell me if it's not dastardly that these people are living in a literal concentration camp without access to electricity, water. Susan, we can, we can disagree over the usage of words. No one is denying that Israeli occupation of Gaza, and I use that word carefully. You call it genocide. Those are your words, genocidal attacks on Palestine. Palestinian victimhood, Palestinian tragedies cannot justify surely what happened on the 7th of October. All I'm saying is we seem to be therefore in this endless cycle of violence, of revenge. Why would you not call it, I'm sorry, why would you not call it genocidal? They are literally, and Israeli commanders have admitted that they are targeting civilians. And there's a video of an Israeli commander saying that we are targeting civilians. He has said that. Why will you not call that genocide? They have attacked hospitals. They have attacked schools. 
universities, uh, uh, clinics, schools, um, whole high-rise apartment buildings. Um, they have attacked water treatment plants, food factories. Mm -hmm. They have cut off water and food. They are people huh? literally being put, getting buried under the rubble of that their is... homes. Hun over 900 that is children, one side 900 of the babies. That is one side of the story. And proof and photos of those babies, unlike what the Israeli claims, which you, I'm sure you have never seen or never verified the numbers that they are giving you. I am sure you have never seen all of these so-called 1,200 people. There has not been a single verified report that of, it, of Israeli claims, yet it keeps being repeated as if it's fact, and you call it dastardly. But then, but then this this actual genocide that's happening to Palestinians, you won't even call it that. That is Susan. on you. That is on the media. It is dishonest, and you and you are participating in the manufacturing oh. of consent for another Western imperial genocidal war, and we are paying the price. We have been paying the price for seventy-five years. Susan. How can India? How can India, a formerly colon, a former colony that endured the unspeakable under the British, how can you now be saying what you're saying? That is the mind-blowing part. How quickly you have forgotten what the West has done to you, and now you are allying with a Western settler colonial state that has been devastating and terrorizing I... wholesale the indigenous Palestinian population for decades. So, and the full view of the world. Susan, the reason I have you on my show is to understand the Palestinian perspective. And I will come in a moment to the horrific humanitarian crisis that's ongoing in Gaza at the moment. I'm not escaping from that reality. I'm only saying there are different stories to be told here. That's all. Stop calling it a humanitarian crisis. This is an intentional genocidal war. A humanitarian crisis is when an earthquake happens. Yeah. That's it's when a tornado happens. That's a humanitarian crisis. When 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 a super when a nuclear power is literally bombing the mm -hmm. most populated place in the world and 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 bombing human beings and civilians and children and women and elderly and mothers and fathers. That is not a humanitarian crisis. That is genocide. Say it. You need to say it and you need to be honest. You need to you, you I, need to be honest with your viewers.